it's uh, almost two years, if I can say that uh, I've been out of uh, major competition. I never participated in any competition since 2010. My last race actually was 2009 in the Los Angeles Marathon. It's three years down the line now. Everybody when is actually is active running, you sometimes uh, some of the uh, you sometimes don't think that there is another future maybe after running, and that is why most of my colleagues or some of us who, whom, whom we used to compete with them really uh, we motivated one another that after running we have to live a life, and uh, that is why we encourage one another that we need to save, we need to invest and do something so that uh, we can have a life to live. Uh, after athletics, we can uh, run a business, you can do even farming the way we are doing, so that uh, away from athletics, you can have something to do to keep you busy and to earn you something. And what actually I can say we've done since uh, we left running, it's paying off. It's like uh, we are still active in running because uh, the investment that uh, is there actually pays and uh, it keeps us uh, another life to live. During our active times, there wasn't no much uh, these uh, people for investment, for example, that comes out there and uh, give you some lectures on how to invest your things. Like, unlike today, there are so many of them. There are people whom we used to run with. Personally, I was running with them. And right now, you can see them, they are living an horrible life. Why? Because they used to run, and whatever they can earn that time, they will expand, they will spend it, or uh, they invested them it very wrongly. Or what I can say is that when you are running, you have to think uh, you are running for to earn something that it will make you to live for tomorrow. And maybe during that time, what they could think, they would think for their lives on th that particular time. And maybe they thought tomorrow will take care of itself. That is why you find them they are living another life that. They want to go back to track, which is very impossible, they can't go. They didn't invest anything, maybe the little that they can have is maybe where they can live. And uh, we are very sorry for them. When I, I, I talk of the word El Sing, it means a lot to me. El Sing is where I won my only gold for 5,000, and the only gold for Kenya during the, the seventh edition of IAAF World Championship that stand up to now that we've not win any gold. And also, El Singh reminds me when I got my son. And I named it after my gold. I de 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 dedicated that gold medal to him. That the name is given Tony El Singh again. I can say El Singh, my son, is the only son in my family. The first investment that I can say I did was to establish my home and that is where I am and that is where people you find that after working for so many years after laboring for so many years after running for so many years they don't have a home to sleep, to stay so i decided i have to make my home like any other homes in town or any big cities and this is my place i invested in the farm i have my farm machineries i can do anything in a farm I can plow any, uh, any volume of acreage in the farm because I have the machineries. I have the, the houses outside there, real estate. But I'm still developing because I still have another capacity to go beyond in uh, real estate. This place actually reminds me of places that have uh, taken part in racing. All the cities have uh, won, have ran, like Belfast, I won World Cross Country there. Zurich, I've ran several times. Rome, where I've been running my personal best in 5,000 meters. All this place reminds me a place where I've been racing. And it gives me pleasure to set up this home in my home area. This is where I come from. 
so that I feel that my people who are my tenants here can live also in those cities that have won uh, the races. I'm very happy with what I've done. I can live a comfortable life from where I left athletics forever and even my children. My advice to my young men and women out there, please invest your time, invest your money like the way we've done so that tomorrow you don't come and start looking for jobs again, looking for where to work so that you can earn yourself and you've been winning millions and millions of dollars every now and then.